Stephanie. I'm back with another DIY tutorial. Today I'm showing you guys how to make these drawers, more specifically inset drawers. I recently took on the challenge of DIYing this $2,700 designer desk and this is a desk that I was able to make for under $250. In order for this desk to feel high-end, I needed to have functioning drawers. So I made these three huge drawers which will be perfect for storing all of our office supplies. I I will admit I've always been a little afraid to make my own drawers. It seems like a really tough project, but to my surprise, they weren't that hard to make. They turned out amazing and they slide super smooth. Very happy with how they turned out. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own inset drawers in nine simple steps. You can use whatever thickness plywood you prefer for your drawers. I had scrap half inch and three quarter inch plywood in my garage, so that's what I used. For the desk, I used half inch birch plywood, so I decided to use that same plywood for my drawer fronts and also for the bottom of my drawers. For the sides of my drawers, I used three quarter inch scrap poplar plywood. To get the total width of your drawers, you need to measure the frame opening for your drawer and subtract one inch. This will allow a half inch for each of your drawer slides. Be sure to check the instructions on your drawer slides because yours may be different. You can make the depth of your drawer whatever you want. The depth of my desk is 32 inches, but I didn't want to make my drawers that deep, so I just made my drawers 20 inches deep. You can also make the drawer height whatever you want. I recommend giving at least a half inch of space between the top and the bottom of your drawer frame opening. For my drawers on the sides, the opening height was 10 and a half inches, but I only wanted my drawers to be eight and a half inches high. The middle drawer opening was five inches but I made my drawers three and a half inches to allow some good wiggle room. Once you figure out what you want your overall drawer dimensions to be you can start to calculate the dimensions for each of your individual drawer pieces. In the description below you'll find a link to my blog post and I share a graph of all of my drawer dimensions and I take into account the three quarter inch plywood sides and half inch plywood bottom. Measure, mark, and label your plywood pieces and then cut them down to size using a circular saw. Organize and lay out all of your drawer pieces. I used a Craig jig to drill pocket holes in all of my three quarter inch plywood pieces. Check out this picture on how I laid out all of the pocket holes. Sand all of your drawer pieces down, starting with a rough grit and finish with a fine grit sandpaper. Use wood glue and one inch pocket screws to assemble each of your drawer pieces. Make sure to have all of your pocket holes facing the outside. You can fill in the pocket holes with plugs or wood filler, but I just left mine alone.
to figure the dimensions of your drawer fronts, measure the frame opening for your drawers, then subtract a quarter inch from the height and the width. This will allow a 1 8 inch gap around the entire drawer front so that your drawer opens and closes easily. For the trim detail on the face of the drawers, I use this fancy pine detail trim. I miter the corners at 45 degrees and then glued them to the half inch plywood face. Use tape and clamps to keep your detail trim in place and make sure to wipe up any extra wood glue. I also added a paint bucket for some extra weight. I used these 18 inch full extension side mount uh, drawer slides by Everbuilt and they slide so smooth. You'll want to get drawer slides that are the same depth or a tiny bit shorter than your drawers. The depth of my desk was 32 inches but I didn't want the drawers to be that deep so I made my drawers 20 inches deep. I would have used 20 inch drawer slides to match my drawer depth but they didn't have any in stock in my store. Measure the depth of your drawer front and mark that same measurement on the inside of your drawer opening. My drawer fronts were 1 inch thick. So I drew a line in my drawer opening one inch back. Make sure that the end of your drawer slide is sitting exactly on this line. In order to give your drawer some space to slide open and close, position your drawer slide up a little bit. It doesn't make a difference how high you place these type of drawer slides as long as they're not at the very bottom or sit too high for your drawer. I used scrap 1x2 as a spacer for my drawer slide to sit on while I screw it into my desk. Use a screwdriver or a drill to secure the screws. With these drawer slides, you'll need to extend the slide out so you can access the holes for the screws. Make sure the end of your drawer slide is always on that line. Use a spacer for the bottom of your drawer so that your drawer doesn't scrape the bottom when you open and close it. I used some scrap 3 quarter inch plywood blocks as a spacer. Carefully set your drawer in the opening and on top of your spacers. Extend the drawer slide so that they're flush with the front of your drawer. Use a screwdriver or a drill to secure the slide into your drawer. Extend the drawer out a little further to place more screws. In order to attach the very back of your drawer slide, you may need to take out your drawer completely. Secure some screws into the very end of your drawer slide. Place your drawer back on the track. Now, once the drawer is pushed all the way in, I have a perfect one inch gap where my drawer front will sit. I started this step by partially screwing in one inch pocket screws from the back so that they come out the other side. Close your drawer completely and draw on the tip of these screws with a permanent marker. Position the face of the drawer exactly how you want it with the gap even on all sides. Once it's positioned, push the drawer front so that the screws leave holes and black marks on the back of your drawer front. Open the drawer and match up the holes and marks with your screws. Once your holes are matched up, drill the screws in all the way so that your drawer face is fully secured.
finish your drawers off with some nice hardware. I bought this four pack of knobs from Home Depot and they were a perfect final touch to finish off my desk drawers. Make sure to drill holes for your hardware going in from the front of the drawer. If you drill in from the back side, you may split or splinter the front of your nice drawer face. Thank you. 